Hello again, so it's Halo 3 day today. The press embargoes are up and the game sites are starting to publish their reviews and apparently it's a pretty decent game. So as uh, the regular watchers will know, I've already got it on pre-order and in about four hours, I'll be heading down to my local game store for the midnight launch. Partly because I want to go down and see how many people actually turn out in Launceston for the launch of one of the quote unquote most anticipated games of all time. And partly because it's Monday night and I've got nothing better to do. So I'm ready and raring to play Halo 3. I'm uh, completely prepared to have my ear repeatedly raped by teenagers who think that the best way to communicate to other people playing games is to call them fags and noobs. And yes, to all the Halo fans out there who said I should play Halo and Halo 2, uh, all the way through in the campaign most to get the story. Well, I didn't play Halo, but I did read uh, you know, facts and things about the story, how the story went in that game. And I did pick up a copy of Halo 2. I found the limited collector's edition here, which has a little DVD full of behind-the-scenes documentaries and things like that, which are quite interesting, for a bargain price. So I spent a couple of days playing all the way through campaign, just on normal mode to get to grips with the story and it is a fairly decent story it's not quite as simple and one-dimensional as a lot of video game stories have been also I wanted to log some game hours in Halo 2 before I started Halo 3 to get to grips with the control scheme because I'm not that used to playing a first-person shooter with dual thumbstick controls I'm traditionally much more of a mouse and keyboard guy which is clearly the superior way to play a first-person shooter but I found that the thumbstick doesn't quite suck as much as I originally thought it did when I first started playing Halo 2 with a few matches uh, with friends. So just quickly, a couple of things I did enjoy while playing through Halo 2, the campaign mode. Plasma grenades. Sticking them to the side of someone's head and watching it blow the living piss out of them is hilarious. The music is great. Covenant brutes, which amount to nothing more than great big hulking bullet sponges, are annoying because they take forever to kill. Scorpion tanks are friggin' awesome. Sneaking up behind a brute and stabbing him in the back of the neck with my energy sword is one of the most fun experiences I've had in video gaming lately. And I can see exactly why so many people were really annoyed and let down by the very ordinary ending of Halo 2. But Halo 3 has come to save the day and complete the story where it left off. So as the tagline for Halo 3 goes, it's time to finish the fight. And just before I wrap this video up, my gamer tag, I've been, ever since I... The, put the first video up even before I got the Xbox 360 when I was talking about thinking possibly maybe buying one um, people have been hammering at me message after message comment after comment email after email wanting to know my gamer tag and up until this point I've resisted publicly displaying my gamer tag because I know the instant I do my friends list will <laughs> fill up in an instant but you know what it's easy enough to get rid of people who are dicks that I don't want on my friends list anyway. So I'm going to tell you all what my gamer tag is. Super Blunty. As you can see, my reputation is still the default three-star rating and my gamer score is pretty small. But I'm hoping to ramp that up with some achievements in Halo 3. Because, you know, I figure it'd be a handy thing to have to have as many people as possible, as possible, possible, possible <laughs> opponents in Halo 3. So when I do uh, decide to play online, I've got a whole list of people sitting there waiting for me. Well, that'll about do it. I'm going to go make some dinner and then prepare to go down to the midnight launch of Halo 3. Catch you all next time, and uh, I might give you a little quick blunty review once I've logged a few hours in the game. I already said catch you next time, didn't I? And then I kept rambling. I'll have to do it again. Catch you next time.